By the star when it descends, your companion Muhammad has not strayed, nor has he erred, nor does he speak from his own inclination. It is not but a revelation revealed, taught to him by one intense in strength, one of soundness, and he rose to his true form. He was in the higher part of the horizon. He approached and descended, and was at a distance of two bow lengths or nearer, and he revealed to his servant what he revealed. The heart did not lie about what it saw. So will you dispute with him over what he saw? He certainly saw him in another descent, at the lote tree of the utmost boundary. Near it is the garden of refuge. When covered the lote tree, that which covered it, the sight of the prophet did not swerve, nor did it transgress its limit. He certainly saw of the greatest signs of his Lord. So have you considered Al-Lat and Al-Uzza and Manat, the third, the other one, the male for you and for him the female? That, then, is an unjust division. They are not but mere names you have named them, you and your forefathers, for which Allah has sent down no authority. They follow not except assumption and what their souls desire, and there has already come to them from their Lord guidance. Or is there for man whatever he wishes? Rather, to Allah belongs the hereafter and the first life. And how many angels there are in the heavens whose intercession will not avail at all, except only after Allah has permitted it, to whom he wills and approves. Indeed, those who do not believe in the hereafter name the angels female names, and they have thereof no knowledge. They follow not except assumption, and indeed assumption avails not against the truth at all. So turn away from whoever turns his back on our message and desires not except the worldly life. That is their sum of knowledge. Indeed, your Lord is most knowing of who strays from his way, and he is most knowing of who is guided. And to Allah belongs whatever is in the heavens and whatever is in the earth, that he may recompense those who do evil with the penalty of what they have done, and recompense those who do good with the best reward. Those who avoid the major sins and immoralities, only committing slight ones. Indeed, your Lord is vast in forgiveness. He was most knowing of you when he produced you from the earth, and when you were fetuses in the wombs of your mothers. So do not claim yourselves to be pure. He is most knowing of who fears him. Have you seen the one who turned away, and gave a little and then refrained? Does he have knowledge of the unseen, so he sees? Has he not been informed of what was in the scriptures of Moses, and of Abraham who fulfilled his obligations, that no bearer of burdens will bear the burden of another, and that there is not for man except that good for which he strives, and that his effort is going to be seen? Then he will be recompensed for it with the fullest recompense and that to your Lord is the finality, that it is he who makes one laugh and weep, and that it is he who causes death and gives life, and that he creates the two mates, the male and female, from a sperm drop when it is emitted, and that incumbent upon him is the next creation, and that it is he who enriches and suffices, and that it is he who is the Lord of Sirius, and that he destroyed the first people of Ad and Thamud, and he did not spare them, and the people of Noah before. Indeed, it was they who were even more unjust and oppressing. And the overturned towns he hurled down, covered them by that which he covered. Then which of the favors of your Lord do you doubt? This prophet is a warner like the former warners. The approaching day has approached, of it, from those besides Allah, 
there is no remover. At this statement do you wonder? And you laugh and do not weep, while you are proudly sporting. So prostrate to Allah and worship Him.